eights around here in this system IO tech tutorial I'm gonna share with you how to customize the URL the link of your website also known as URL pop so first of all quick definitions just to make sure you are clear on what is what as you can see this says aranbukai.com dot s a system dot io forward slash whatever it says here so this part where it says aranbukai this part before the first dot is called a subdomain. This part, system.io, is called a domain name. This part is called a URL path or a URL slug. They kind of interchange them in the same thing. And when you hover over this question mark, it will actually explain to you what this means as well. So you can pause the video and have a read. Now, if you want to change the name of the URL, then you would change this part and you could just add different numbers. So you could do like dash and add some things, dash, add some things if you want. And then you always want to make sure you click on this green button, which is save funnel step and click on save. Now, when you do that, you will see funnel step saved successfully. Now, let's just pretend for a minute that I put a space in between right here. Now I'm going to click on save again and you're going to see it will say funnel save successfully, but you can see this part, it says this value is not valid. So this is actually should not be there because this is not saved successfully because this part is actually not working. If I was to copy this, this is the copy button and open it up in a new tab and paste it in. Notice that there is a space here. I'm gonna click on enter and you're going to see that it's gonna go nowhere, okay? So if I was to now fix this and make sure there is a space, click on the save button again, then I click on the copy, and then I paste it here again, you're gonna see that it's actually going to work. So this is really important that you pay attention to these details. If you were to do, for example, um, asterisk or these signs as well, then you will see it says value not valid. So you have to make sure that you delete these and only leave it with those details. So numbers is okay, things along these lines. Now let me just do something with a caps. You'll notice that a caps, it says the value is not valid either. If I was to put this here, you will notice that it's going to say page not found. So I'm going to delete and make this E small and I'm gonna copy it, paste it in and refresh and you see that it will work. Lastly, I wanted to show you how to change this domain name. So it is going to be something that is personalized to you. Now there is an extra step that you're gonna have to do. There's gonna be a video somewhere around here, which is about how to connect a domain name to System.io. Once the domain name is connected, in order to connect the domain name to this specific funnel, because you can have multiple domains from multiple funnels, then you would click on this button right here, which is funnel settings on the top right. You're going to click on it. And then you will see all the domain names that you connected to system. And you can choose which one you want to use for this particular funnel. So you can have multiple domain names for different funnels. But once you have a funnel, there can only be one domain name. So even if it's, this is the opt-in page or the order form or the upsell or the confirmation page, it's all going to be the same one. So let's just pretend for a second that I'm gonna change it to a specific domain. I'm just gonna pick this one for the sake of demonstration. Now it will say the funnel has been successfully modified and you will see that every page on this funnel, the domain name was changed to it. So I'm gonna switch it back to what it was because I don't want to be this domain name, but I just want to show you how you can switch it around. This is going to be the default name, the, the name.system.io, that's the default subdomain. Everybody has that one. And if you want to have your own custom domain, then you're gonna to need to connect it separately. Now, depending on which plan you're on, you can have uh, one, three, or more. And I'm on the unlimited plan and therefore I have unlimited domain. So depending on which pricing plan you're on, as to how many domain names you can have access to be able to integrate. The integration is done by hovering over here. Click on settings, click on custom domains, and you'll see the different domain names. You will click on add domain name and then follow the instructions.
Now there is a few tutorials I have and instructions on how to connect the domain name and the different housekeeping aspects. So if you're interested in learning more about that, there's going to be a link in the comment section. I'm going to pin the link for you to download a really short PDF guide with links to the various tutorials on how to do all the challenging housekeeping matters in system.io. So check the link in the comment section to be able to download it. It's totally free and you'll be able to get detailed step-by-step -step instructions for all these little housekeeping stuff that might be niggling you and bothering you. And you'll be able to get access to all these little housekeeping issues that might be bothering you in your journey to using system.io. Thanks all for watching. Uh, let me know if you got value from this by leaving the comment value. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you there. If you have any additional tutorials you want to record or questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks a lot. Go download that free PDF I told you about, and I'll speak to you soon.